Hello everyone and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Wonder Woman. So first let's take a look at the window box we got here. It's really good. I never had the other uh, Wonder Woman's from the films so I think this is uh, the best one. I don't know i have seen reviews of this one of wonder woman's before and they always say that she looks a little weird i think she looks pretty good she looks uh pretty dang good i really like the uh the new the different color on the sides that they're doing at least for this set so there's a nice picture of wonder woman the side thing and then finally, they'll go up top. So let's crack into this and see what we got. So I do just want to point this out. I really like that they did a really cool um, back background for the inside of the box for this whole part. It was really cool. I don't really know why they decided to do that for this series, but I'm down with it. It looks really nice. So, let's get out her card and her stand. Obviously, we got the black DC single peg stand. And then we have the card. So let's read what we got on the card here. Real name Diana, Prince of Themyscira. Gotham City's formidable, for, forceful vigilante takes on Metropolis's most revered modern day savior. While a new threat quickly rises, putting mankind in greater danger than it's ever known before. That really didn't tell you anything about Wonder Woman, but okay. <laughs> that tells you about the movie. Not Wonder Woman. Anyway, I guess we'll move on from that. That was extraordinarily brief. So let's look at her shield. She's got a shield. She's got a sword. Whose handle looks extraordinarily um, absurd, I would say. Like, that is a gigantic handle for those tiny little hands. And she's got her lasso of truth. So let's take a look at the accessories really quick. So, like, we were looking at the lasso of truth. It's just, you know, the one that, you know, sits on her hip. It's not out or anything like that. It's not even shaped like a lasso. It's just kind of shaped like a rope. Mm, whatever. And the sword. Oops. Sword looks pretty good. I will say the detail on the handle is pretty cool. I like the ridges on there and the other parts. I just think the handle's a little big. Like this is a thick, thick handle. And here's her shield. Oops, upside down. Kind of a flexible plastic. I do like that. That looks really cool. I like the eagle motif on here. And then you got some Greek all around it. Very nice. Alright, so let's take out Diana. Get a better look at her. So we got Wonder Woman. See, the face looks really good. I like the face. I mean, the detail's pretty nice. I like it. So she's got double jointed knees here on both knees. She's got some thick thighs. Look at those. Damn, those are muscular. Double jointed elbows. 
Uh, slight rotation at the bicep, not too much give on that though. Just got that ab movement. I guess technically she's got a McFarland diaper, but it's just her skirt. If you see right here, that is where the lasso can go. Which is a pretty cool little feature. Pop that on there. Boom! That looks pretty cool. She's got her two guards on either side. Her boots are really nice. I really like these boots. She's got the toe pivot. She's got a lot of ankle movement up down like so. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I will say her legs are a little bowed in. At least on my figure. I don't know if that's a reoccurring thing. Let's put her on her stand. And I'm not going to attempt to put her sword in her hand. Because that thing is massive. But anyway. That is Wonder Woman. So if you want to see me look at the rest of the figures in this line, like and subscribe and all that jazz. I also have more McFarlane, some Marvel Legends, upon other stuff, game reviews, and comic book readings. So if you're interested in all that, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.